great songs making up the midday medley on GTFM then on this Wednesday afternoon. Well, we began with Ava Max, My Head, My Heart. Then we had some Snowy White and the Brilliant Bird of Paradise. And there was Hannah Grace and Healing Hands. 70 minutes then after midday. Uh, well, we finally caught up with him. We had problems a little bit earlier, uh, but he's with us now. We are talking about uh, Rob Davis, the Vice Chairman of the Cumbach Male Voice Choir. Uh, first of all, good afternoon again to you, Rob. Oh uh, yes, good afternoon, Gareth, and it's nice to speak to you on a clear line this time. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. We had a we had a few problems because we we made the joke. What do you call two Welshmen? And uh, we came up and we both agreed in the end. It's definitely a choir. Oh, it is definitely a choir. Yeah, <laughs> without the shadow of a doubt. Now, male voice choirs then uh, were a sign of camaraderie, I guess, with the Welsh miners. They'd often finish their shift underground and then they'd go off and uh, either join a choir or just sing in a pub, as I, just, uh, as I mentioned a little bit earlier. Um, some great Welsh choirs then began in the mining industry. I think that's fair to say, Rob. Yes, I, 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 I totally agree. Um, you, you know, it was the, the mining industry and the chapels. Um, of course, where, uh, you, you know, that's where the, the, the instinct, I think, and that innate ability to sing stemmed from. So it was uh, singing underground, having a few beers, and then obviously uh, chapel on a Sunday to practice the art. That's right. Oh, they used to love their chapel, didn't they? Um, now, I mentioned two to make a choir then, if you're two Welshmen, but of course there's a few more than two in the Cumbach Male Voice Choir. Uh, tell us a little bit about the history, because um, you've got a very special celebration coming up next year. We do indeed, yes. Um, well, the, the choir was founded uh, on June the 9th, uh, 1921. So, uh, quite obviously, that means June the 9th, 2021, uh, will be our centenary. Um, uh, it's a birthday we share with royalty because it's also Prince Philip's 100th birthday as well. It is indeed, yes, that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, yes, the, the, we have a long history uh, born out of um, uh, the mining valleys. Um, we've been a very successful choir over the years in competition, um, certainly in the 60s and 70s under T.R. James, um, who many people I'm sure will remember. Um, and on to the, the modern day, where there's been a, 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 perhaps a, a move away from the competition to more, being more entertaining uh, and catering for the modern audience. Um, and, and certainly our centenary, uh, you, you know, pandemic aside, will give us the opportunity to celebrate that history and indeed that heritage. And uh, that uh, is also the name of our Celebration 100 Year CD, which is released next week. Oh, right, so that's uh, that's coming quite nicely. We'll, we'll chat about that in, in just a second then, because uh, um, like yourselves, great, great choirs. I, I mean, I'm talking about the tri uh, Triochi Male Voice Choir, the Morriston Orpheus Choir, uh, called Maybion in Pontypris, the Mountain Ash Rugby Club Singers. They, they, they're all doing a fantastic job still, aren't they? Yes, absolutely. And, you know, in, in very difficult times for everybody in the performing arts, um, you know, there's nothing I would like more or any of the boys would like more than to be on stage at the moment uh, rehearsing for our Christmas concert in the Coliseum in Aberdeen. Sadly, that's not the case. But through modern technology, through the, the likes of Zoom and that type of thing, the choirs are maintaining um, a, a presence and uh, continuing to practice. And I think that's, that's a great thing. And uh, thank goodness for Zoom, etc. Well, Zoom is definitely one of the words of the year, uh, Rob, surely. Uh, yes, I, I think they announced 20 words of the year this week, and, uh, and Zoom was certainly uh, amongst them along with Now, I remember back in the days of the, of, the, of the mining industry where you'd have these big competitions in the pavilion in Porth Call and places like that. You mentioned the Coliseum. Um, big Estevods, big, huge, massive singing competitions. And the rivalry between the choirs was quite, was quite intense, wasn't it? Uh, yes, it was, yeah. And it, it still can be, uh, in a way. Um, you, you know, we've, we've got some
diplomatic there, Rob? Okay, now um, we mentioned the Stelvoods and the Pavilion and the Coliseum and places like that, but I remember a, a thousand voices at the Royal Albert Hall in London. Okay, now I, I know a couple of um, um, directors, conductors, certainly of the Cumbach uh, Male Voice Choir. Uh, you must know Colin Lawrence. Uh, he was there, I think, in the latter part of the 1980s and the early 90s, I think, Rob. Well, Colin taught me uh, in school in Blangwaur and Aberamon in the 1960s and he formed a juvenile choir called the Ross Grau Juvenile Choir and I was in that and Colin, he took us to the Coliseum, he took us to Porth Call and if my memory's right, uh, we actually won quite a few competitions into Colin. Um, so, uh, yeah, my memories of, of Colin go back some way. Excellent, yes. He was a good man, yeah, and of course it just goes to show my age as well, mine Rob. Well, mention uh, a couple of people I know, Andrew Badham I know very well from Mountain Ash, of course he was you were a conductor, a great product of Mountain Ash. So are we are we talking about um, uh, musicians, just singers, that sort of thing? What what are we actually talking about? So you're looking for basses, baritones, first and second tenors, that sort of thing? Ah, now that's that's an interesting one. Um, females as well. Okay, now a little birdie tells me uh, that you've sang on this year's, uh, uh, is it the Clog Eye Gold TV adverts? How did that come about? Uh, a young man called Dan Veal approached me 
Well, it fitted in quite nicely. Clogai Gold, Welsh Connection. I'm a celebrity coming from North Wales, of course, this year. So it was, it, that was quite unique and, and very good for the country of Wales as well, Rob. Now this year you mentioned of course the release of the CD Heritage. Uh, when is that by the way? You did mention it. How many albums or CDs or both probably have the uh, choir recorded over the years? Sounds great, absolutely. And of course, you've done lots of collaborations over the years as well, haven't you? Yes, we're keen to work with anybody who has a Because Paul Robson just loved Wales and the miners and the way of life in the valleys, didn't he? Yeah, absolutely amazing. Um, when you think of the classics like the Welsh National Anthem, Callan Lan, Sospen Vach, Cum Ronda, Mavanwi, have you got a particular favourite yourself, Rob? Excellent. So, um, how can people get in touch with them? Maybe they want to join the choir. You mentioned uh, Facebook, Twitter, that sort of thing, the usual uh, outlets. We, we, we cover all the social media that we can. So, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, the, the website uh, via email, um, the email is inquiries at cobarkmailchoir.co.uk. Um, any of those ways, obviously, um, we're not reusing at the moment, but we're very keen that when, you know, hopefully the vaccine coming into place. Well, all the very best for 2021 then, Rob. It's uh, it's going to be a huge improvement on this year for obvious reasons. But do come back, uh, maybe in the spring, and tell us how everything is going as you went towards those uh, centenary, centenary celebrations in June. Uh, you're more than welcome and thanks for joining us on GTFM.